Two weeks ago, the government set out its plan for reducing the deficit to ensure that the country can pay for the services it needs. Just two weeks ago. So today, we're publishing our ideas on how we can tackle the challenge of a 27% reduction in government funding over the next four years, which necessarily means a 27% reduction in local government activity. There are going to be things that we can no longer do, given the withdrawal of funding. In response to this, we'll change how we work to enable us to de deliver better services with less money. I'd like to see Westminster become a self-sufficient authority, ending our dependence on government grant and state handout because our business and domestic taxpayers and our commercial income together pay for the services and investment our city needs. We will be campaigning for changes to enable us to achieve this so that in future we can set a budget based on our ability to enhance the heart of London on behalf of London as a whole and on behalf of our country. We have been conducting a fundamental review of our services. This has been hard and has involved many tough calls around what we can do for any given level of funding. We've thought about what we're here to achieve and recognised that we've both got, a, both got a global business role and responsibilities to our local residents. We've thought about what we are here to achieve and recognised that we have both a global business role and responsibilities to our local residents. We want communities across Westminster to have access to great schools, affordable homes and live in safe and clean streets. And we'll support business to create the wealth and jobs people need. Together, we want to leave a legacy of social responsibility and civic engagement and I call this our Living City mission. Overall, we have a number of proposals which enable us to live within our means while delivering our priorities. Please be under no illusions. While we will do our best to help those who depend on us by maximising income, promoting fairness and securing value for money, we are still facing a major reduction in income and something is going to have to give. The city government will continue to provide the core services that keep the city clean and safe and protect the vulnerable. We want to release the potential of our citizens to improve the quality of life by developing a stronger sense of community responsibility. We'll be taking a report to Cabinet in November setting out how we can strengthen our big society based on encouraging responsible citizens to build stronger communities, more open government and supported by business to work together to create new job opportunities. Our neighbourhood budgets show one of the ways that we can do this. What I've said today offers a direction of travel, an approach to meeting this enormous challenge. We do not, however, have a monopoly on wisdom or of foresight. One of the hallmarks of the big society is that we make the most of the skills, expertise and knowledge of those who make this city great. That means you, your friends, your neighbours, colleagues, contractors, even your children. Do you have a better plan? However large or small, your idea, we want to hear it. This process starts today and will conclude at the end of the month, allowing us to publish a draft budget around the turn of the year once the final grant settlement is known and to take the discussion onto the next stage. We all look forward to hearing your views and your contributions to this vital debate for Westminster.